You want to replace the screen of your Samsung Galaxy A51? In this video we will show you how. Replacing the screen of your Galaxy A51 is the most complex repair, since all components have to be removed. Allow about 90 to 120 minutes for it. You're going to need the following tools. In addition, these tools can be helpful as well. You can find all tools and an original replacement screen for your A51 in our online store at iDoc.eu. We've put the links in the info box. First, switch off your Samsung Galaxy A51 to avoid a potential short circuit during the repair. To do so, press the function and volume down key simultaneously until the power menu appears on the screen. Tap on power off. Your smartphone will now shut down within a few seconds. The A51 is opened via the heavily glued plastic back cover. After removing the SIM tray, you therefore have to heat up the adhesive first. To do so, run a hot air device, such as a hairdryer, evenly over the edge of the back cover for a few minutes. Note that the specified IP certification expires after opening your phone. Once the glue is sufficiently heated, you can apply a suction cup and pull it upwards. At the same time, insert a flat, stable tool like the Airflex between back cover and screen unit. To prevent the already loosened spots from rebonding, you should insert flat plastic picks along the back cover's edge. Work your way with your tool bit by bit until the back cover is completely loosened. In the next step, loosen the 13 Phillips screws that fix the middle frame. To avoid losing the small screws, we recommend using a screw storage, such as a magnetic pad. Additionally, the middle frame is also firmly hooked to the screen unit and has to be released from it. Place a suction cup on the screen and pull it upwards. At the same time, insert a flat, stable tool like the iFlex or iPlastics between the screen and the middle frame. Run the tool once around the frame. It should audibly and noticeably separate from the screen unit. Put the loosened frame aside. Continue on the screen unit. Separate the exposed battery connector by carefully levering it off the motherboard with a spatter. Make sure that you always lever from a free side to avoid damaging small parts on the board. Disconnect the cable between the USB and motherboard in the same way and take it out of the device. Next, remove the battery. It is heavily glued over a large area. To loosen it more easily, you should heat it with hot air from the screen side beforehand. Then carefully lever the battery out of its guide with the battery spudger. In the next step, disconnect the antenna cable by carefully levering a small metal connector off the motherboard with tweezers. Then pull it out of its guide in the case frame. After that you can remove the motherboard. Loosen the single Phillips screw and take it out of the device. The front and main camera are still attached. Now carefully lever the earpiece out of its guide with a pair of tweezers. Disconnect the screen by carefully prying off its connector from the USB board. Continue with separating the fingerprint sensor. Loosen its two screws and remove it from its guide with tweezers.
You can then check out the USB board itself. You can find an original replacement screen for your Samsung Galaxy A51 and the appropriate tools for this repair in our online store at idoc.eu. After you have removed all films and seals from your replacement screen, you can start to put the USB board back in place. Reconnect the screen by gently pressing its connector onto the board. You should hear and feel it click into place. Be especially careful when attaching connectors and never press them down with force. A damaged connector can lead to the failure of an entire component. Now put the fingerprint sensor back into its guide. Connect it and fix it with two Phillips screws. The next step is to install the earpiece. Put it back into its guide and press it firmly. After that, put the motherboard into the case. Use tweezers to push the antenna cable back into its guide and connect it to the motherboard. Then fix the board with a single Phillips screw. Put the battery back in place and press it firmly. Usually the adhesive residue on the back of the battery is enough to securely reattach it. If you're not sure, watch our video about gluing the battery. After that, position the connecting cable over the battery. The cable labeling will help you aligning it. Attach its two connectors on the USB and motherboard. Now also reattach the battery by pressing its connector onto the motherboard. Attach the middle frame by pressing it onto the screen unit. It has to click in place audibly and noticeably and must not protrude anywhere. Fix it with 13 Phillips screws. Before closing your smartphone again, we recommend testing the replacement screen at this point with the help of Samsung's internal test menu. You can also test other basic functions via the test menu or with the help of our checklist. We we'll link it to you in the info box. If something does not work properly, check again if all components are connected and screwed correctly. At the end of the repair, you still have to attach the back cover. If the adhesive frame is still in good condition, you can simply reuse it. Otherwise, you should attach a new one. First, heat it up so that it can be removed more easily. Then pull it off the inside of the back cover with tweezers. Align the new adhesive frame with the back cover and remove the carrier film. Then carefully press the frame along the edge. You can use a spudger for example to help you do this. If the adhesive frame fits correctly, remove the transparent protective film. Then also the green film directly on the adhesive frame. Position the back cover over the screen unit and press it firmly. To ensure that the adhesive bonds evenly everywhere, run the heat gun over the back cover once again. You've done it! The screen of your A51 is now replaced. I hope your Samsung Galaxy A51 looks like new again. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time! You can find high quality tools, spare parts and accessories for your smartphone repair in our store. iDoc – everything for your smartphone. Discover more repair guides and other helpful videos on our channel.